For the first 140 miles of a 200 mile trip, a person drove 85 miles per hour. What is the speed this person would have to travel for the last half of the trip so that the average speed would, for the entire trip would be 100 miles per hour? I uh, note the average speed is defined as total distance divided by the total time. <clears throat> we know that the rate is distance divided by time. Um, the rate that we want here is 100 miles per hour. Has anyone gone 100 miles per hour in a car? Mm -hmm. It's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I mean, I'll admit I was quite surprised at how intimidated I was, though. But it was awesome. I loved it. That is the final rate that we want, right? Is 100 miles per hour. So I'm just replacing the R rate with 100 miles per hour. The distance on this thing is a total of 200 miles. And we're going to divide it by the times. The times are going to be a little bit different, okay? Because we got two parts of this, which when we add, we should get, well, the total time. So, <clears throat> uh, time, by the way, if we were to manipulate that, it would be the distance divided by the rate. So the first one that we have in the first part of it, we went a total, and this is just for the time, right? We went a total of 140 miles at a rate of 85 miles per hour. So we're going to figure out the rate for the second one. Just that we know that that, that second distance is going to have to be another 60 miles. Is everyone okay where the 60 came from? Because it's the amount of trip that we have left in this thing. The rate of that, though, we don't know. And that's what we want to find out. So, uh, in solving this one, we need to... Uh, get common denominators in that one denominator. So in other words, I'm looking at 140 over 85 plus 60 over R, the rate. And uh, if we can simplify this so that it's one fraction, we can take 200 and divide it by that. And then we'll see where we're at in that point. So <clears throat> the 85 needs an R, so the 140 does, and the R needs an 85. So I need to multiply the 60 by 85 as well. If you simplify that 140 and 85, that'd be fine too. So that gives us a 140R plus uh, yeah, 5100 even. Nice, thank you. All divided by 85R. So that, of course, goes in the denominator of our fold equation there. So let's go ahead and write that in. So that's what we have now, but uh, that's a 200 divided by that full quantity, so if it helps we can put that in parentheses, which means we should probably write this as a division problem. So this is what we have now, but uh, as usual, since we're dividing and we have a uh, rational expression, we're going to go ahead and change that to multiplication and reciprocate what is inside the fraction. So this is what we have after the reciprocation. If we wanted to, we could make this one big fraction and make that 200 over 1 so that we can multiply the numerators and denominators respectively. So that gives us 100 equals 17,000 R over 140 R plus 5,100. And if we make that 100 over 1, we can cross multiply these. So now I'm going to go ahead and multiply 17,000 uh, 17, R by 1 which would give me 17,000 R. And if I cross multiply these, uh, that's equivalent to 100 times 140 R plus 5,100. So then we'll just multiply uh, the 100 or distribute it into the parentheses. And that's what we have there. Let's go ahead and subtract 14,000 R from both sides of the equation. And that gives us 3,000 R. Again, R is the rate, equals 510,000. And so we'll just divide both sides by 3,000. And that gives us that the rate is 170 miles per hour. 
And that right there would be our fin final answer. Uh, but before I finish this video, I'm going to show you guys a different way to look at this. Uh, again, it's all about perspective. So if uh, that whole equation way didn't really work for you, uh, we still may use an equation on this next part, but we're just going to look at this just a little bit differently. So what I want to do is see, first of all, how long the trip would take if we we're going 100 miles per hour. So since it's a 200 mile trip at 100 miles per hour, that would be uh, two cycles of that. So in other words, uh, and we can look at it like this, right? The time is the same as the distance divided by the rate, which would be 200 divided by 100 miles per hour which would be two. So two hours is the total amount of time that it would take to complete this trip. Now, what we have here is uh, we've already completed 145 miles, uh, I'm sorry, 140 miles of the trip. So how much trip is left? So we're gonna take this 200 mile trip. We've already taken 140 miles out of the trip, which leaves us with 60 miles remaining. And so, uh, in this two-hour trip, if we can figure out how much time remains, we can take that distance and divide it by the time, which would give us the rate. So let's go and see how much time has already passed. So, we see that uh, the time is the distance divided by the rate. So the time that's passed is 140 miles, and we're going to divide it by 85 miles per hour. Uh, I'm going to keep this in fraction form, uh, and if I do simplify this, uh, I'm going to get 17. I'm dividing both these by 5, by the way, so that would give me uh, 28. 20 sevenths, 28 sevenths of an hour have passed. So, 2 hours is the same as uh, 2 over 1, so if I wanted common denominators, I would have 34 seventeenths. This is the amount of time total that it would take to make the trip. But I'm going to subtract the 28 seventeenths because that's how much time we've already used up in the trip. And that gives us uh, 6 seventeenths of an hour that remain. So, rate is going to be the distance, miles, and we're going to divide that by the time in hours. So this should equal the distance that we had remaining, it was 60 miles, and we need to complete it in 6 seventeenths of an hour. So this is the same as 60 divided by 6 seventeenths, which is the same as 60 times, again the reciprocal, 17 sixths, which when we multiply these and simplify gives us 170 miles per hour. So just a different way we can look at that problem uh, if we look at what remains and how much time remains as well. So uh, there you go. That's the second way to look at it. Hopefully it's been helpful and we'll see you guys later.